This program can be used to help illustrate the different aspects of a sine curve. The Ferris wheel is meant to give students a visualization of the four different parameters that make up your sine curve. So when students click on the go button, their Ferris wheel will move around at a certain rate. They will notice on the sine curve it shows a little red dot tracking the red dot for the red car on the Ferris wheel and they can see the height of the car changing in a sinusoidal pattern. Students can then try each of these different things and when they click on the D value they will notice that it represents the height of the center of their Ferris wheel and each different D value will shift their sine curve vertically. Okay, students can then also click on the B value and they will notice that the B value changes the speed of the Ferris wheel. Okay, so the speed of the Ferris wheel determines how stretched out or how compressed the sine curve is going to be. Students should easily be able to see that the higher the B value, the more rapidly they go up and down. Students can change the A value, which will represent the amplitude of the sine curve and the radius of the Ferris wheel. So a bigger radius Ferris wheel will cause a more drastic rise and fall of the Ferris wheel. So the amplitude of the sine curve corresponds to the radius of the Ferris wheel. Finally, the C value is the phase shift. And the students can see some of the primary phase shifts that uh, are of interest, such as when the Ferris wheel starts at the very highest point. Their sine curve will now start at the very highest point. That's a shift of 90 degrees or pi over 2. They could then have it start so that it's a negative sine curve, which is a phase shift of pi, and they could see that the sine curve is once again starting right in the middle, because the Ferris wheel is starting right at the center, but this time the car is moving down. They could explore the phase shift when it's at its lowest point, and then back at a normal zero degree phase shift, when the car starts right in the middle, heading up. So hopefully with this program, it will help students have some sort of visualization that they could draw on when they're analyzing the equation of a sine curve or a graph of a sine curve.